What is it that we stand for? We stand for human freedom, and we stand for human dignity, and we stand for ending discrimination. The member of parliament who introduced the 2009 Anti-Homosexuality Act is a guy named David Bahadi. If this bill were actually to become law in Uganda, consensual conduct would be subjected to life imprisonment with the possibility of the death penalty for certain homosexual acts. All Ugandans would be required to report any suspected homosexual to the police within 24 hours. It would criminalize any discussion, expression, any outreach to LGBT communities, including health-related outreach. Now the idea that in Uganda we have plans to kill gays you know that the bill of Honor Bahati is intended to kill homosexuals. That is a view which the entire world has got, yet it's not the case. There you is know? a clause, however, that does allow yeah. capital punishment for repeated uh, acts of homosexuality. Yes. In On January 26, 2011, outspoken LGBT activist David Cato was murdered in Uganda. He was beaten to death with a hammer in his home. Cato was a close friend and associate of Frank Mugisha. Just weeks before his death, Cato led a successful lawsuit against the Ugandan newspaper known as Rolling Stone, which had published the names and photos of homosexuals, along with the caption, Hang Them. Uganda is basically trying to be a universal monitor or police of um, of rights of people, and in doing so, they're actually violating rights of their own citizens. There are a great many homosexual men and women, gay and lesbian women, who claim very strongly that they have felt that they were homosexual since birth. They are liars. When God created the world, God did not create one set of rules for black people and another for whites. God did not say that the tall or the blue-eyed or the big-nosed were superior. God did not say women were better than men or that only heterosexuals would go to heaven. In Uganda, to our shame, prejudice against sexual minorities has been propagated by no less than the president who has termed homosexuality unnatural and not how God arranged things to be. Just this year, it took an international outcry to finally stop Uganda from passing a law making homosexuality punishable by death in certain circumstances. And this battle is still far from over. Can you believe it? In 2011, for the Robert F. Kennedy Center for Justice and Human Rights to be presenting the 2011 Human Rights Award to Frank Mugisha today is to reward justice over injustice. It reminds us that Africa cannot afford to reverse the progress it has made in human rights, and that tolerance is an essential human rights ingredient, a critical condition to foster good relations in the human family. To acknowledge the role of Mr. Mugisha and SMAG is to acknowledge that prejudice against sexual minorities is as strong as prejudice against black people, against Jews, or women. It is ultimately a reminder that whoever we are and wherever we live, whether our name is Mugisha, Kennedy, or Tutu, we are members of one family, God's family. Thank you, Mr. Mukesha, for the work you are doing. It's close to my heart. God bless you.